My dear students, as a father and son walked into the lobby of the office building where the father worked, the little boy noticed a clock high on the wall. He saw workmen standing on a tall ladder adjusting the time. The boy asked his father, why is the clock set so high where nobody can reach it? It's simple, answered the father. The clock used to be lower, within the reach of everybody. People would pass by, look at their watch, and adjust the clock to match their watch. After moving the clock higher, people now look at it and adjust their watches accordingly. One of life's great questions is, how do you determine right and wrong? The Ten Commandments revealed in this week's Torah portion, Yitro, are our clock high on the wall. Now today it is difficult to assert the existence of timeless truths and to distinguish clearly between good and bad. Our assumption is that we humans are morally autonomous and that we have every right to act by our own judgments and according to our own preferences. Moral relativism teaches that there is nothing that is universal and unconditional because everything is predicated within ourselves. There is no such thing as definitive right and wrong because there is no clock high on the wall. Right and wrong are determined by anyone who has a watch. Judaism teaches that there is such a thing as absolute truth and that it is shown to us by a source far above us. It is fixed and constant and displayed on a high wall where we cannot adjust it to suit what we think is correct. Just because we believe that something is right and good does not mean that God concurs. We were not placed on this earth to set the time and to make up the rules. Let us adjust our moral and ethical watches to what we see high above us and not adjust the timeless commandments of God to agree with our personal standards of what is correct at the moment. Shabbat Shalom.